looks it looks like it's foggy out or hazy, you know, but it's actually a we're under a warning for smoke from those Canadian wildfires right now, and that's what this all is. And I thought I could smell a hint of smoke. Chris says he can't smell anything at all. I, I can smell it. There's a fire burning somewhere. It could be a thousand miles away, but I can smell it. And that's what this is right now. Um, so it's kind of crazy. I know they had it really bad over in New York. Folks, I am super pumped to show you this mower here. This is a 10 foot three point mount mower on my Kubota M4. They make an eight foot version as well. So you need 52 horsepower at the PTO to operate this 10 foot. Weighs about 1,500 pounds. You can get an eight foot version. It takes 42 horsepower at the PTO or more and it weighs about 1,250 pounds. So you gotta have the lift capacity too, but most tractors that are gonna be able to lift, you know, 1,200 to 1,500 pounds are gonna have that much PTO horsepower. But we're happy to help you uh, point you in the right direction too on that. This is a multi-spindle, all right? And <laughs> if you follow along, then you, you've seen this mower already. Uh, we just haven't done a video on it. And I got it, well, I got the whole tractor stuck in a, in a, basically a bog and uh, a whole other scenario. We got it out of there, but that was its own thing. And, you know, I had the mower on the back. We sunk way down, buried it all the way up to the axles. I've been mowing different areas out here and, and I'll get to that in a little bit too on why I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing. But uh, had every intention to show you this video a bit earlier, but we're getting to it now. We're proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. So we're mowing about an acre of field right now in the middle of an old pasture. We're not using it for pasture anymore. and this 10 foot cutter is just a beast. It's seven gauge steel that's on here, rated up to 125 horsepower on the gearbox. You have optional chain guards. I wouldn't buy this without the chain guards though. Uh, made in America with US and imported parts. We are a Ironcraft dealer now, and we're gonna be showing you a lot of other attachments coming up as well. But this company is expanding and growing, making great value attachments not just for tractors, but for skid steers too. But we're gonna show you things on the three-point hitch as well as the front end loader too. Now, Ironcraft is not a new company. It's a fairly new name. Uh, they used to be called Titan, all right? And Titan was different from the other Titan that's currently out there that's primarily making Chinese stuff and importing it. I'm not gonna talk about them too much, but the point was there was a lot of confusion. Anyway, they changed the name to Ironcraft to take away that confusion. I saw them, Chris and I actually, we were down at the, uh, if you haven't gone, you gotta go to the Louisville Farm Show. That thing was amazing. Folks have been telling me to go for years and it's, it's tough as a, uh, a small business owner to break away, but finally made a trip down there this past winter and Ironcraft was one of the many um, incredible companies that we saw down there, but their stuff is just oozing quality. And a lot of you were probably at that show and you can, you can vouch for that same thing. And it's a great place to be able to touch and feel everything and talk to the manufacturers and, and just get a better understanding of the farm equipment that's out there and um, visually see what may be a good fit for your tractor. Now, a few other specs that I think are important to note. One is gonna be a three inch cut diameter. That's the max cut diameter on here. That means this thing's a beast, all right? It's a heavy duty mower. It's gonna come standard with a slip clutch on there. There's not gonna be a shear bolt option. So you're getting the slip clutch standard with it. And it's also gonna have a five year gearbox warranty. It's important to mention as well, both mowers, the eight foot and the 10 foot will be category one and category two, three point hitch compatible. Now, obviously this kind of mower here is for folks with more acreage, right? Um, if you only have a, 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 an acre or two to mow, you're not gonna get a big old 10 foot mower on here. But if you have, I don't, you know, I would say five acres or more that you're gonna mow multiple times a year, that's where I would start to see it as advantageous to get a 10 foot mower or maybe the eight foot mower too. And then of course, if you're mowing 10, 20, 30 acres, well, it's definitely gonna be beneficial there. In layman's terms, you know, it's, well, it's easy to, to list off specs, but where I envision this being used is with a large four series like the Kubota L6060, the John Deere 4066R or similar tractors from other models or manufacturers. Um, and then into the utility tractors like the Kubota M4 we're using it on, a John Deere, you know, 5065E or 5075E, um, you know, and the similar other brands that are out there. So kind of right in that sweet spot, the large compacts, the small utilities right in there is where this is gonna live. And so previously I've showed you guys a 10 foot batwing mower from Rhino, okay? 
And uh, that's got some benefits as well, but that's going to be a pull type. And while you can get this Ironcraft mower in a pull type as well, I like the idea of the three-point mount. I like the ability of the rigid connection. So if you're backing up under trees or anything else, it's just a lot easier. Otherwise, you're, you're trying to back up kind of like a trailer. And not that it's that hard to do, but it's just a lot easier to do that with a, a three-point mount that's rigid connected and you can just drive right back up underneath something. And then also, I like the ability to lift it all the way off the ground just to move it around, whatever else. I just, it's a bit more compact in nature. The downside is something like this doesn't flex, right? So if you had a really undulating field, you know, with all sorts of dips and depressions and hills and everything, that bat wing is going to have the wings that kind of give and rock up and down to contour a little bit better. Out here though, uh, this, is, this is fine. You don't need a bat wing out here. This, you can see this mowed it consistently across the whole area that we did. And so really not a big deal. That's gonna be more of a application dependent type of feature that you may consider. But I will tell you, you pay dearly for the bat wing mowers compared to this. I think you guys are gonna be pleasantly surprised at the price point of this Ironcraft attachment compared to some of the others like the Rhino. So what we got going on today is the continuation of a plan put in place by another YouTuber. We had one out here. His name is Jeff Sturgis with Whitetail Habitat Solutions. Been following that guy for a long time. I know a lot of you guys have too. And part of the reason I bought this property was for deer hunting and to try to make the most of it. And so that's what I'm doing here. And this is where we're mowing today is gonna be corn. <laughs> Hopefully within a week. So, so I'm kind of pushing the limits here. I got some 85 day corn, trying to get in the ground by the end of June. And it's, you know, we're gonna experiment and see what happens, but this is kind of the, the heart of the property. And the idea is to bring in uh, the deer to a huge food source in the middle and then kind of hunt the travel corridors that uh, come from outside the property and into the middle. So anyway, there's, a, there's gonna be some experimentation, everything else going on, but we're gonna be, well, I've already used this mower to mow huge rings around both the pastures and then some kind of satellite areas too and those are gonna be the, the tall HD screen this year, but then in the spring, I'm gonna be planting switchgrass in all those areas and then probably some other pockets of that too. Um, but this main huge plot is gonna rotate. You know, it's gonna be corn on this side and then the other side and, and then um, a, a green leafy stuff in the other section of it too. And we're gonna see, I'm gonna plant some pockets of trees and, and all sorts of stuff. And it was really great having him all the way out here uh, to spend the day with him and, and kind of pick his brain on his decades of experience hunting whitetails. Well, not only that, developing properties too. You know, I get some flack sometimes too because I tend to overlap a decent amount. And part of the reason I do that is because when you're you're driving over, you know, the tall stuff, the weeds and everything else that you're cutting, especially with a bigger tractor, it's really packing that stuff down in those, in those tire tracks. And so if you come back the other direction and mow over it, it tends to cut it a lot better. So kind of tried to show you guys both ways, a, a bigger overlap here and then a, a smaller overlap to really maximize the cut width. And honestly, do what you want to do, right? I mean, it's your own tractor, your own mower, mow how you want and don't let anybody else tell you you're doing it wrong. But I always get comments on that. So I figured I'd kind of point it out and you can see, I mean, it's, it's just tougher for those mowers to kind of suck up all that pack down grass and get it cut at the same consistent height as the areas that weren't driven over. So folks, that's gonna wrap it up for us today. Again, we're gonna have a lot more to come from Ironcraft, a whole bunch of other attachments, and then we're gonna get even more too. And that's the idea, right? We want to show you guys these tools in action. We have over 700 other videos out there doing just that with all sorts of tractor attachments on front end loaders and three point hitches. How we're gonna work things with Ironcraft is we're gonna be a dealer for them, but we are gonna ship manufactured direct. So you'll place your order with us, we'll submit it to the factory, and then we'll get it shipped out to you as soon as it's ready to go. So if you wanna see upcoming videos of those other Ironcraft attachments, make sure you hit subscribe right down below. And if you're looking for something for your front end loader or your three point hitch, we'd love to help you out. Check out goodworkstractors.com. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.